Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kayla from Planning with Kay and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and dive into my pencil pouch with you guys to show you all of my essential supplies for bullet journaling. You guys are always wondering what pens and markers I'm using to put my spreads together, so I figured that I would show you all of my absolute favorite supplies and also give you a little demo on how I use everything. These aren't all of the supplies that I've ever used in my journal, but they are by far my favorites and what I'm using like practically 99% of the time. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, if I was stranded on a desert island and I could only write with one thing in my journal, it would definitely be a trusty black felt tip pen. And I have a few favorites that I wanna show you, both past and present. My current favorite black pen is the Tombow Mono Drawing Pen. This is a new release by Tombow and the internet has totally fallen in love with these pens for very good reasons. They come in three sizes, 01, 03, and 05, and they don't bleed or go through the pages and they write very, very smoothly on the page. I ordered mine in a three pack that came with all three sizes, but I believe you can also order them separately if you don't feel like you need the additional options. I think what puts these pens above all the others I've used is that they are by far the fastest drying, which means that you don't have to worry about them smearing if you write over it or accidentally wipe it with your hand. The ink pretty much stays put. That being said, these are very new, so before that, I had a few different favorites that I alternated between. Most recently, the Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner and the Sharpie Pen. Bottom line though, the main criteria with all of these basic black pens is that they don't bleed and they don't ghost through the page too much. Any pen that satisfies those criteria will pretty much do the trick. My next main essentials are my markers. I use these to add flair and color to my spreads and there are a few brands that I use most. The first you've probably heard of before if you've ever watched any other bullet journal videos, and that's the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. These markers are great because they have two sides. One side is a thick brush tip, and the other side is a finer tip. So you can really use these markers for absolutely anything in your journal, whether it's lettering or filling in blocks of color or fine colored writing. This is definitely my go-to marker, and you're pretty much guaranteed to see these on any of the spreads in my journal. The other biggest thing that I love about these is that they have a good selection of kind of more muted colors. Um, I don't always like using super fluorescent bright colors in my journal, so these are perfect for if you're like me and you want a more dull or pastel color palette. The main downside to the Tombow markers is the price tag, so I also have a couple more affordable favorites that are really amazing as well, and they are both by Crayola. Firstly, there's the broad tip Crayolas. Uh, these are probably the markers that you remember using as a little kid, and they have this big fat pointed tip at the end that turns out is really great for brush lettering. With proper control, these let you get that nice thin upstroke with a fat downstroke that makes the lettering, lettering look the way it does. I also love the Crayola Super Tips, which have this smaller kind of pointed tip that essentially is kind of like a shrunk down version of the broad tips. These also come in various size packs from something like 20 colors to 50 colors or something like that, and they're pretty dang cheap for how many markers you get. The best thing about these is definitely the color payoff, so if you like bright and vibrant colors, then these markers are definitely for you. I just have a few extra things that are staples for me when it comes to bullet journaling, mainly for adding extra little details and embellishments to my spreads. The first of these are the metallic jelly roll gel pens. Um, I never use these pens on their own because they are fairly light and not super easy to see at all angles, but instead I love using these for highlights and for drop shadows. So as you'll see in a bit, I love to use these alongside my markers, especially to add little shiny highlights and shiny shadows to my lettering. My first non-writing supply that I use all the time is just a simple adhesive tape roller and some colored construction paper. I usually always just get really cheap tape rollers and colored paper at the 99 cent store or Daiso, but the tape roller I'm currently using is actually by Tombow because they were kind enough to send me a free sample when I ordered the drawing pens from them. 
Uh, this method of pasting colored scratch paper into my journal is my favorite way of covering mistakes. Sometimes I will write a header or something that I just really hate or I'll make a little typo or something. So I can always just stick a piece of colored paper over it and write a new header on top. Next up is my favorite black brush pen, which is the Sakura Pigma FB brush pen. This is my favorite thinner brush pen ever because in my opinion, it has the absolute perfect tip for a really clean and unique brush lettering. You can get a ridiculously little thin line with this super pointy durable tip and you can also push down really hard with it. And it's just the perfect thickness ratio, I feel like, between the thin upstroke and the thick downstroke. Next up is some decorative tape. Um, I know a lot of people who bullet journal are super into washi tape. And while I love the look of it, I just have never really gotten into it too much in my journal. But the one tape that I do really love is this lacy tape that I buy at Daiso. It's very simple and classy looking and I mean, come on, look at it. Uh, who doesn't love lace? I like using this to separate sections of a spread or just for some border decoration. Last but not least, another major essential in my bullet journal toolbox is this ruler slash stencil that I found at my local art supply store. It has all of these very useful little shapes that I sometimes use, um, especially the small circles and the small squares. And of course, it's a perfect straight edge and I use it on practically all of my spreads. The best part about it is that it also fits perfectly inside my journal, so I actually just stick it in the back like this so that I always have it with me when I'm on the go. Alright, so now that I've showed you guys all of my essential bullet journaling supplies, I figured I would quickly show you how I set up a spread using all of these supplies. Now normally I wouldn't use literally all of these in one spread, but for the purpose of this video, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is actually the daily page that I used for the day that I filmed this video and it's just some shows some common ways that I use every supply that I just showed you. So the first thing I'm doing is my daily header and I started off with a peachy Tombow dual brush pen for the background and my ruler with the 01 mono drawing pen for the straight line. Then for the day of the week I use my Pigma brush pen and again with the Tombow drawing pen for all of the finer black writing. Next, to make the header pop a bit more, I go in with the silver metallic-y jelly roll just to add a shiny drop shadow to my letters. Next, I'll show you how I fix mistakes with the tape and colored paper. So let's say, for example, that I misspelled the word tasks as I oh so clumsily did here. Then I just cut out an appropriate size sheet of colored paper that matches my spread and I'd paste that in right over the mistake. I then fill out all of my tasks for the day with the drawing pen again in size 01. Next, I have the other pieces of my daily spread. So to create some separation, I use a line of lace tape. I then get started on my water tracker, first using my stencil to create six circles representing six half liters of water, and then another dual brush pen along with the Pigma brush pen for the header and drop shadow. Next are my meals, which showcase the Crayola broad tip and super tips for the bright pops of orange and yellow. Finally, I often have some kind of inspirational little blurb on my spreads, um, so today I decided to go with Be the Best That You Can Be, using the same peach Tombow dual brush pen and the mono drawing pen for the drop shadow, gold jelly roll for the highlights on the lettering, and the Pigma brush pen for the black writing. And that's it. So here's my finished spread using every single one of my favorite bullet journaling supplies. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. I'll have the names and links to all of these supplies in the description box below. So definitely go check that out if you're interested in finding any of the things that I talked about. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a like or a comment down below and let me know what video you want to see next. Follow me on Instagram at planningwithk if you're not already. And also definitely go check the link to my Etsy sticker shop down in the description box. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.